In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who raised up St. John of Cabestrano to comfort your faithful people in tribulation, Place us, we pray, under your safe protection and keep your church in everlasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit, through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you were also called to the hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, Lord this is, this the, is people the people that, that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth in its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon, upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, Lord this, this is, is the people, people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is in vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him that seeks the face of God of Jacob. Lord, Lord this, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowds, when you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it is going to rain, and so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it is going to be hot, and so it is. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearances of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge for yourself what is right? If you are uh, to go with your opponent before the ma a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Good morning, everyone. We're asked to interpret the times. You know, I think that's especially uh, important right now in our times. And we've been talking about this. Um, but, you know, here we are in, a, let's call it a very sensitive uh, season that we're in right now. And I use the word sensitive just because uh, everybody seems to be on edge. And a lot of people are just protecting their turf. You know, whatever that means, you know, for themselves. Uh, but the, the things that they believe in, the, the desires that they have, the plans that they have for their lives, uh, all depend upon fill in the blank, you know, for them. Um, here we are as a Christian nation, and we are a Judeo Christian nation, uh, a biblical nation, nation is what it means. We, we derive our, our, our sense of right and wrong from the Word of God. And we've been doing that for uh, all of our uh, American history. Uh, but that all seems to be threatened. At least it seems to be threatened by those who perceive the threat on the horizon. And so for those people who see that threat, they're set into action. Okay? Uh, they need to do something, anything, to prevent our nation from going, and I've just been using the word, in an anti-God way, in a way that, that uh, betrays God, you know, that opposes the Holy Spirit is another phrase uh, I, I've used. Uh, and, and what will happen if, if, if we go in that direction? Well, utter chaos for, to begin with, uh, but you know, charity will be turned into hate. Uh, you know, uh, uh, joy will be turned into depression. Darkness is on the horizon, literally, if we're not careful or if we are not uh, sensitive to what is taking place in our time. You know, Jesus said, hey, you see a cloud in the west and all of a sudden you think it's going to rain and it does. You know, do we not perceive you know, the danger that's on the horizon right now and then want to do something about it? Of course, I've been saying it begins with prayer and prayer it has to begin with prayer because, you know, otherwise we're moving under manpower instead of God power. With man, it's impossible. With God, all things are possible. So it always begins with prayer. But then, once we once we've set ourselves on calling out to God and believing and trusting in His power, okay, uh, He empowers us, you know, to then do something about it, to act. In other words. Uh, and so, and so, this is what Jesus was exhorting everybody to do: that you know, if you want to have, you know, the uh, a land filled with the fruit of the Holy Spirit—love, joy, peace, patience, kindness—if you want a land filled with that, uh, we can't just sit and ignore the signs of the times. Uh, we can't just sit and do our own thing when God is asking us to do His thing. You know, and to build a nation under God. And so let us ask God to give us that sensitivity, okay, to what is occurring in our times. And also a sensitivity to what God is calling each one of us uh, to act. Please stand. Trusting in God, the Father of us all, we offer our prayers this day for the Pilgrim Church on Earth that through the power and uh, grace of the Holy Spirit, we may grow in strength and unity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who feel de defeated in whatever their daily battles are, and for all in need of any kind of healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us in faith, may they rejoice forever beholding God face to face and our uh, Mass is being offered today for the poor souls in purgatory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, please hear and answer our prayers this day according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. 
fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. In the morning, set the sacrifice. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Donald our Bishop, and all those who holding the truth had in the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offered for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true, in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogenus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, or that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. With eyes raised to heaven to you, God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. But once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, <clears throat> offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel, to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest and sleep. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with grace, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine mercy teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, your offense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. To God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world. <laughs>